This film starts in a fancy house, a couple have enjoying their night. After the woman gets up to get a glass of water, she returns to find the man missing. She hunts for him and discovers him in the bathtub, with blood. As she screams, a hand closes her mouth and grabs her. In lovely coastline California, Ellie Warren is a successful advocate living with her husband Marcus who is recovering after a terrible car accident. They have just moved into a new house on the coast from the city of San Francisco now that their daughter Brittany has left for college. At work, Ellie's boss Janice wants her to stay on afterwards she's done with the case despite Ellie's decision to leave to start her own practice. Janice introduces the firm's new tech consultant, David Hammond, who Ellie is surprised to see since she knows from college. The firm is working for a client who claims that their patents have been stolen. Janice wants David to find emails proving that the patents were stolen, which he quickly does. David asks Ellie to get drinks to catch up. Ellie already has drinks with her friend Courtney scheduled and invites David to meet them. Courtney gets stuck at work, and so Ellie has drinks with David alone. She states she sometimes feels like she's sleeping with a stranger with Marcus. They catch up and go to a club, where they talk about why they never dated in college. David states he knew Ellie worked at the firm before he took the job. They dance and get a little too close, and Ellie runs to the bathroom. David catches her and they begin to tasting lips each other. David exactly reached to drilling, but Ellie says she can't and rushes off. She goes back to living with Marcus and tries to make their relationship really strong, though David repeatedly calls her. David goes to see his therapist, who he tells he is doing well and that he is seeing someone. It is revealed he first began seeing during court-ordered anger management, after an incident with someone named Deborah. Outside work, David approaches Ellie, claiming he was at meeting nearby and wonders why she isn't returning his calls. He asks Ellie to meet again, but she says she can't, she's married, and takes her car. At home, Ellie keeps getting calls and texts from David and blocks his number. She and Marcus have enjoying, and David watches from outside their window. Ellie and Marcus have Courtney over for dinner, and Ellie is stunned when she brings David as her plus one. David is dating Courtney and plays not to know Ellie, who plays along. When alone, Ellie confronts David and tells him she never wants to see him around her or her family ever again. She tells him to make an excuse to leave, which he does. Later, Ellie finds a package on her deck from Marcus. She calls Courtney but isn't able to get a hold of her, and meets David to confront him. She wants to know what it will take to get him away from her and her friends and family. He snaps at her and calls her Deborah. She gives him the record he left for her in the package, and he cracks it in half. Ellie goes to Courtney to tell her the truth, but Courtney states David told her that Ellie tried to seduce him and he turned her down. She shows her texts they appear to be from Ellie saying that, but Ellie explains that David is a hacker. Courtney doesn't believe Ellie and storms out. Ellie goes to meet an old friend from college, who tells her that David was totally gripped with her in college. She also tells her David's ex-wife Deborah looked just like Ellie, and that Deborah and her new boyfriend were killed a few months after the divorce. Ellie is scared. At night, David breaks into Ellie's house and goes through her things while she sleeps. Brittany is home from school arrives during and is nearly confronted by him, but narrowly avoids him. Ellie continues to reach out to Courtney but doesn't hear back, and later receives a video message from David containing surveillance footage of them dancing at the club that he hacked, she doesn't know he has also hacked into her home security as well. She sends Courtney an email with information about Deborah's murder and how David likely committed it, but David deletes it. He then engages in sexual relations with Courtney. Ellie begins following David and is shocked to realize him going golfing with Marcus. She is able to convince the concierge at David's building to let her into his apartment, where she finds pictures of Deborah and of herself taken from afar on his computer. David comes home while she's still in the apartment and escapes. Ellie calls Courtney and tells her about the pictures and that David is dangerous. Just then, David gets to Courtney's place. Courtney looks on David's phone and finds photos of Ellie, but David catches her and attacks her. Ellie rushes to Courtney's place and finds her unconscious and bleeding from the head. 
Courtney is taken to the hospital, and the police tell Ellie they are looking for David. At home, Ellie tells Marcus the whole story. He is angry and upset. Meanwhile, David finds a homeless man and sets him on fire with a suicide note, faking his death. The police reveal that they found all the evidence in his home, including a confession for his ex-wife's murder. Marcus and Ellie discourse through their problems and decide to start fresh. Things start to return back to happy and normal. Ellie stops by her office to sign some documents and discovers her assistant killed on the floor. David calls her and says, you left them alone. Ellie hurries home and calls the police on the way. She sees Brittany's boyfriend Scott dead, but can't find Marcus or Brittany. David appears and tells Ellie that they can start a make new life together. Ellie assaults David with a knife and then breakdowns a vase over his head. She discovers Marcus and Brittany tied up. She releases them as the police arrive, but when they hurry to the police car they find the cop dead. David attacks them, but they are able to lock Brittany in her car and tell her to drive away. Marcus battles David but he knocks him over a balcony. Ellie cracks David in the chest and catches Marcus and helps him up. David returns to the police car and takes the dead cop's gun as Marcus and Ellie run to the beach. David faces them with the gun, and a battle follows at the cliffside. David falls over the edge, and Ellie grips him and tells him to hold on but he slips and falls to his death on the beach below. Later, Marcus and Ellie are happy and safe and send Brittany back to school, and that they plan to sell the house. Thank you for watching this video, subscribe our channel for more videos. Like, share and hit your commands.